One of the things that will never be forgotten about Chadwick Boseman is how much of a hero he was off screen. The Black Panther star was known for being generous with fans, especially young children fighting illnesses. And his final conversation with Black Panther producer Nate Moore was actually about how important it was to give these kids the joyous moments they deserve. Nate told People magazine that his last texts with Chadwick were about their work for the Make-A-Wish Foundation during the pandemic. And the Avengers Endgame star found a creative way to make one child's wish come true in isolation. Nate explained, It was during lockdown, and we worked together to get a young boy a voice note from T'Challa, as well as a package of toys. No easy feat when we weren't allowed to leave our homes or go to the office. But Chad figured out how to make it work because he cared so intently, and in hindsight, so personally. Nate said the final text he got from Chadwick was about just how powerful making someone's day can be. According to him, it read, It broke me, man, but we need to do that for them. People deserve abundant life, special moments. They've been through hell battling disease. If we were able to ease their suffering and bring joy for a moment, and hopefully moments as he goes through the bags, then we made a difference in his life. Nate said that while people can read a lot into that text, considering Chadwick was secretly fighting stage four colon cancer at the time, he doesn't believe that personal battle was why the actor was so intent on helping others. The producer told the magazine in part, Hindsight will tell us that Chad felt that way because he too was battling a disease. But I don't think that's true. I think that's just who he was as a man, a leader and a caregiver first, who accomplished both of those things as a performer and as a regular person. Chadwick wore his heart on his sleeve when it came to the privilege of being able to spread joy through Black Panther. In a 2018 Sirius XM interview, he emotionally remembered meeting two kids with terminal cancer who were trying to hold on long enough to see Black Panther hit theaters. He said, to a certain degree, it's a humbling experience because you're like, this can't mean that much to them. But seeing how the world has taken this on, seeing how the movement has taken on a life of its own, I realized that they anticipated something great. He added, when I found out that they, pausing as his voice broke into tears, it means a lot.